Gypsy Danger, the Jaeger that literally launched the series. And out of all the mechs in the game, all of them are awesome. I think this one is most iconic and probably most recognizable. What we're looking at in these vlogs, I'm pushing all of these Jaeger and Kaiju reviews. We're looking at Pacific Rim Extinction. I'm pushing them up to my YouTube channel here under the Pacific Rim playlist. We're looking at the action cards. We're looking at the tactics. We're trying to figure out what is the best leverage. What are the best tactics? What's the main focal point of, in this case, the Jaeger or in other cases, the Kaiju that we're going to try and do on the tabletop? And of course, layered over this are mission tactics and uh, the actual terrain. Think of this as a starting point to build on the upgrades, to build on the mutations, to build on the pilot cards, to open up opportunities and, and find your play style. So we're working our way through. The framework that I'm utilizing, I'm breaking these cards up into Tier 1, Tier 2, Tier 3, essentially three tactical piles. Tier 1 cards are the cards that define the primary actions. This is what we're going to try and take advantage. This is what we're going to try and leverage. This is what we're going to do. Essentially in combat, but not always. Not always. Essentially combat-driven, mission-driven, but not always. Tier 2 cards are ones that, while we're looking to engage or we're on the way in or we're disengaging, these are the ones that we're going to bring into play. And then Tier 3 cards are cards that are specific to a very certain scenario on the table or something um, very exact has to happen. Think about opportunity of play. You see an opportunity to really shift the game, we'll utilize these Tier 3 cards on there. So starting with Tier 1 for Gypsy Danger, we're going to look at the Plasma Caster. Uh, this Jaeger has, I think this is an all around, well-rounded Jaeger. As of right now, Wave 1 release. Wave 2 can't get here fast enough. This is the type of mech that you take when you want to use it as a solid anchor point, meaning it's certainly not going to lead the thrust in the assault. It's certainly not going to leverage shooting or um, chaining attacks or massive mobility. It does nothing really, really great. And what I mean by that is where you need to have a little bit of leverage, it can buy you some time or do some decent amount of damage. Think about this. Um, if we're going up against a kaiju that is really close combat, you know, really getting in there, and, and of course, most of the kaiju are focused on, tactically, it's a little bit more in-depth than this, but essentially getting up there and smashing face. So if you have a kaiju that's very, very powerful, very, very aggressive, and you have a Jaeger that is very, very powerful, very, very aggressive in close combat in the assault, I don't want to go head-to-head. -head. That's simply because if I go head-to-head, -head, it's going to be a great showdown. It's going to be a lot of dice rolling. But at best, I can hope to destroy that kaiju, to take it out, kill it. But the damage I'm going to receive in return, it's, it's not worth it. It's that adage when two tigers fight, one dies, and the other one gets maimed for life. So what did you really win? on there. Gypsy Danger is the type of mech where we send it up there and we shoot a little bit. It's not going to directly engage. I can shoot because that kaiju is vulnerable to that. Or likewise, if there's a kaiju that's primarily shooting, then I can leverage the assault of the chain sword, which we're going to look at in a moment, to get up there and, and close combat it. So the fact that it's um, a jack-of-all-trades, master of none means you use it to buy you some more time or you use it where another piece in the game is so overpowered I can engage it on a different foothold. The question I can't answer is the time in, in using it that way as kind of a delaying action, the time that that buys for your other pieces on the table, your other units, your other space monsters on there, that you have to look to exploit the mission objectives. So we're looking at shooting. We're looking at the Plasma Caster, just, just iconic from the movie there. It's going to cost you a charge. It's a ranged attack. And before attacking, you can spend a charge to gain plus one power for this attack. That's, that's pretty standard on there. Um, I think you generally you want to utilize that if you have 
the power simply because um, that extra boost is going to stack the dice in your favor a little bit, potentially based on how you roll. So if the opposing target's armor saves are a little bit higher, um, or I should say defensive dice are a little bit higher, you, you still stand a chance of, of breaking through. Not anything groundbreaking, but decent. Then we've got the chain sword. So we've got shooting, now we've got close combat. Before attacking, you can spend a charge to gain plus two power for the attack. So again, we have a way to, um, to boost up our power on it. Generally speaking, we get into resource management in the game with the Jaegers. You don't have finite power and finite ammo. There are ways to potentially recharge, but seeing how these attacks are okay, probably I'd want to right off the bat supercharge them. I probably would want to spend them to boost up um, to put a little bit of hurt on because Gypsy Danger is going to kind of be all over the place on there and, and looking for advantages to push it out. I, I want to use those early on. Now we get to, we're still in Tier 1, uh, the Vortex Turbine, you know, pulled classically from the first movie where you're going to engage that turbine, turbine and you're just going to like burn right through it. So certainly very thematic with its implementation. It's a close combat attack. It's going to use ammo. I'm kind of surprised it uses ammo and not a charge, but I, maybe they had to balance it out a little bit. You do not use your skill when making this attack. So you, you look at this and you're like, well, it's, it's pulling my skill down. It's going to be less... Um, it's going to be less useful. It's going to have. It's not going to have as many dice. We're not generating as many dice on the table. Well, thematically, I guess I'm bear hugging the kaiju and I'm just going to burn it with that turbine. But the second piece of the card is your target does not use armor when defending against this attack, and some of the more powerful kaiju have some decent armor. And um, in terms of mutation, I think we're always looking for more armor. Armor's a great way to stack your defensive rolls on there. So we have an okay shooting attack that I'd probably want to charge, well-rounded, an okay close combat attack, and then a situational attack where if I want to get up there and, and burn something away and remove an entire screen of defense, that that's solid. So we're not seeing the, um, the crazy tricks like Saber Athena has. We're not looking at, compared to some of the kaiju, you know, really, really powerful attacks where when someone sees this kaiju come out, they're like, I, I can't deal with that. I don't want to take that on. i got to run and gun. Um, all around, all around, Gypsy Danger, solid performer on there. Solid performer. And we're going to utilize that, pinpoint it on the table, physically on the table, where our opponent is weakest. That's, that's the goal pushing in there. Tier 2 cards, um, these kind of follow like the other Jaegers. Power Surge, Tier 2, so I can run or charge up. Not really going to use that in combat if I'm base-to-base -base or, or shooting. Tactical Action, we can use that in the rule book. I can take one of those tactical action, actions. And then Tier 3, I can Deep Drift and get access to the pilot cards. I, again, that's going to be real situational depending on um, who you're taking, who you're putting in that that Jaeger. So what place does this have in your collection? Um, I see this, um, when we build lists in, in wargaming, I'm going to kind of step out and look at things generalized. Every wargame will have um, a shooting aspect, a close combat aspect, or um, alternate weapons, you know, X-Wing miniatures that we have the primary weapons, but then you have stuff like missiles and torpedoes. So you're going to have a number of ways to affect your opponent in the game. And Based on play style, or you want to try something, what sometimes we'll do is load up everything into one phase of the game and say, look, I really, really enjoy the assault, so I'm just going to take mad, mad kaiju that are just in the assault and run across the table and just wreck stuff on there. Um, the challenge, if I build a list like that from the kaiju perspective, if you have decent or extreme mobility in your list, then I'm going to get blast it off the table. I'm never going to catch you. So when you take all of your resources and you put them into one phase of the game, it becomes rock, paper, scissor in that other lists, a well-rounded, not even a well-rounded list, but a, a list that's focused on the opposite of what you are. 
I won't say impossible. It's going to be very, very challenging to defeat it. So as an insurance policy, so to speak, when you build a list like that in Wargaming, and, and this would apply to Pacific Rim Extinction, it helps to have a couple of units, or in this case a model, a Jaeger, that is average, but average is a good thing, slightly above average if we're going to boost it, spending the ammo or energy, where I've got a little shooting. I've got a little bit of close combat assault. I've got a way of a special ability to nullify armor on there and be a little bit more powerful than normal, you know, burning it away with the turbine. And um, in a very focused list, having that insurance policy so that if I do find myself up against an extreme foil, rock, paper, scissor type thing, I've got a piece that can do something on there. So definitely a very tactical Jaeger, a tactical machine, a tactical mech well-rounded, a good kind of anchor point. I see this as an excellent anchor point piece in your collection.